Hey guys, it's Ashton. And it's John. What is up, Sub Sandwiches? We're back again with another reaction video. This time we're reacting to Thanks for Asking by Joe Santagato. This was a suggestion from do, 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 um, Norman's, Norman's Cabin. There we go. Make sure I say it right. I want to be disrespectful. Um, thank you so much for the donation and the suggestion, man. You've been doing a lot. So you guys can also donate down below for a video to get reacted to. Five bucks Streamlab donations with the video link or title in the um, the message. And we'll react to it within 24 hours or at least close. Also subscribe. Well, bam. Ashton's YouTube channel. Follow my Instagram and let's get to this video. Let's do it. All right, so this week Love we're going to do things a little differently. I told you guys to send me questions on Facebook and Twitter, and I got a lot, so let's get started. What's your funniest encounter on a New York City subway? All right, so there was this one day I was coming home from work, and when I got on the train, it smelled like piss, which isn't out of the ordinary, by the way. This is New York City. Everywhere it smells like piss. However, on this specific day, I knew it was a guy on the train because no one was sitting near him, so he had either just pissed or was currently pissing, which is fine. It's not fine, but whatever. We're gonna continue with the story. He also kind of looked like Santa Claus if Santa Claus' parents like didn't give a shit and he like rolled around in dirt and just <laughs> drank a lot. So anyway, pissed Santa Claus is over there talking to himself, which is fine. And I guess some lady made eye contact with him, which by the way, big fucking mistake. She makes eye contact and I guess that just pissed him off because he started screaming at her and he was saying, you're a wannabe cock. Like she wants to be a dick. Like what the fuck does that even mean? So I start laughing. And when I start laughing, like no one else is laughing. It's New York City, everyone's like, this is normal. I'm just gonna keep my head down. But no, it's not fucking normal. The guy hears me and he fucking snaps his neck and he goes, what are you laughing at, tit fucker? And now I'm fucking dying. Now I'm hunched over in my fucking shirt. And like, the guy just called me a tit fucker. I didn't even know it was a title. And I was laughing and shit, but I gotta admit, I was legit terrified because I knew that this guy was covered in pee. And if he charged me, he what am I gonna do? He's gonna tackle me and now I'm covered in this piss. We're just rolling around and, and his in this piss concoction. And I didn't want that to happen, so I just kinda turned away and you know, hit my face, and then he stopped. It was like a five minute period of complete silence. Everyone on the train kind of looked at each other like, okay, we're all safe, it's fine, he's not mad, but <laughs> he was not done. Because I guess he just used that five minutes to make himself more angry. And <laughs> he just screamed the most absurd thing. He was just sitting there and he was just like, <sighs> Suck my nine inch dick in a crowded train in New York City. <laughs> and I'm not supposed to let, like, no one reacted. He said that, and my first reaction was, wow. This, this guy's blessed. Nine inch dick, that, not every day you see one of those. <laughs> and then my second thought was, I hope he doesn't pull that snake out. Because I, I'm not even gonna act like I'm a hero. I will use an old woman to shield myself from it. But he screams <laughs> that. And then says nothing again. And then there was this different lady, some little tiny Asian woman who could have been 90 or 14. They don't age, it's amazing. <laughs> but she was sitting there and uh, she was looking down. She knows the rules. She was looking down, she was making eye contact, but he didn't give a fuck. He was, he was leaning and he was like, I, I, I'm nine inches of solid steel when I'm happy. And this was just, the best train ride I've ever been on in my entire life. <laughs> what is the weirdest memory you have from high school? All right, so my senior year, I had the sex class, and on the first day, the teacher was like, all right, everyone go on the board and write a word that is associated with sex. And my last name is Santagata, we're all seated in alphabetical order, so I'm like near the end. And everyone before me was trying to be all PG, and they were writing stuff like love, lust, Passion. But being the immature person that I am, I just saw this as an opportunity to write titties on the board without getting in trouble. So that's right, exactly right. what I did. I brought, he called my name, I walked up, titties, everyone was laughing, and then I sat down in my chair, and that was that. The next kid, the kid right behind me, he was like this shy, didn't say much type of kid, and I guess he took, like the, like the fact that I wrote titties, kind of made him feel like, okay, all bets are off now. Because he got up and he went right up to the board and he just wrote anime porn. And from the time he finished the end and put the chalk down and then walked back to his desk and sat down, no one said a fucking word. Just complete silence. <laughs> I'm trying to contain myself once again. And then my teacher goes, 
What is that? And at this point, I just put my <laughs> head down because I know what's coming. And sure enough, he describes anime porn by saying it's like when your favorite cartoons, it's like when your favorite cartoons have sex, but all the noises are real. <laughs> and no one said anything. The teacher was like, <laughs> awesome, oh, dude. okay, cool. Next. I, I like what you're like understanding like you. Have you ever thought about becoming well, a gynecologist? Is. No, Anime not at all. Porn. And I know some dudes are gonna be like, dude, what are you gay? You get to look at vaginas all day. Like I know dudes think that's like a funny joke to say, like, oh I wish I was a gynecologist, but I don't think they really thought that through. You know, there's real medical procedures that are going on down there. It's not like these women are just walking in, flashing their palace, and then leaving. You gotta like take a car jack and fucking jam it <laughs> in a vagina and then crank it open so you can see in there. And I'm sure it's there's more to it than that, but I'm just giving you the abridged version. So I don't want to be a gynecologist, probably for the same reason that I don't want to know what McDonald's chicken nuggets are made out of. It'll just kind of ruin it for me. Like the nuggets are great. I love them, I appreciate them, but I don't want to know what's going on in the factories or how many chickens are being slaughtered or any of those details. I just want to eat the nuggets. It's the same thing with vaginas. <laughs> I love them. I appreciate them. They're all beautiful. Oh, man, he's so but I don't awesome. want to like deep sea dive in and use tools to fix things. Like that's, I'm just not qualified for that, you know? Would you have <laughs> sex with Trump if it means you'd save someone you love? This is tough. Like dude, honestly, all political views aside, everyone has to be on the same team and admit that Sex with Trump is probably brutal. Not to mention, like, is this like a life or death kind of thing? Because if it's not, then definitely no. Because I can totally live with someone I love sustaining a, a, like a serious injury or something. Like, you'll live, whatever, you have a broken leg, no big deal. But if it's like life or death, like, oh, I don't, that's a fucking tough thing. Like, do, like how much sex do we have to have? Like, is it like <laughs> sex to completion or like, like, can I just, like, massage them or some shit? Why am I taking this so seriously? <laughs> anyway, that's all for this week's video. Don't forget to subscribe to my it. podcast. It's called The Basement Yard. It comes out every Monday on iTunes and SoundCloud. That is awesome, dude. I love him so much. I know. He's so I, fucking I funny. I always love those video yeah. his videos. There's not a video that I don't oh, like. He does such a good job at just all of them. He's so entertaining. Um, Thank you so much for the suggestion, guys. And James Nickerum, thank you so much for the donation. He just yes. threw down, as you guys can see in that corner. And we will see you in the next video. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Peace. Bye. God, he's awesome.